thousands of hectares filled with the leftovers of a lost harvest. These are the consequences of one of the worst droughts in Argentina's history. But a new modified seed could help Argentina and other countries cope better as the world's weather continues to warm up. Raquel Chan is behind the study that has allowed investigators to implant genes of the sunflower plant more resilient to weather conditions into crops like soy, corn and wheat to make those seeds more resistant to drought and soil salinity. Initially, we wanted to study the mechanism by which a plant can tolerate drought, so we isolated some genes from other plants that have better resistance. We found that inserting the gene of a sunflower, the plants resisted longer periods without rain. Chan says that harvest yields are between 15 and 100 percent higher. The seeds have a mechanism that if there is a drought, it'll stop growing, so it needs less water and less carbon dioxide. It lasts longer this way, so when it rains, it grows more. It's as if it has a sensor as when it should grow and when it should stop. The seeds are an important discovery because they will help the agricultural sector in Argentina to confront the impacts of climate change. But before they're released on the market, the seeds must still undergo a series of tests to determine the effects on the environment and nutritional value. The process could take between two and three years. Environmentalists and consumers have expressed their fear about transgenic seeds and their effects on the environment and human health. But experts from the laboratory say the new seeds will be safe. Biotechnology is highly regulated, so if it is approved, it will be done after rigorous testing has been carried out. There are no seeds like this in the world. There are similar technologies, but they work with other genes. Global warming and a rise in the world's population have scientists thinking of ways to guarantee food production. Helping nature do its work is essential, they say, especially as the planet's resources become even more limited. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Santa Fe.